G'day, I'm Dr. Alison Fuller, and in the words of the singer-songwriter Paul Simon, you can call me Al. This video is titled Telehealth Music Therapy Practice Approaches from Australia with a focus on emerging technologies, presented within the Telehealth Spotlight session at the World Congress of Music Therapy 2023 in Vancouver. I'm presenting today from the unceded lands of the Garrigal people, located within the place we now call Sydney, Australia. It's such a privilege to be invited to make this video today and invited to speak at the Congress. And I acknowledge that privilege and all the moments, opportunities and support that has led to me being here. Within this presentation, I'm planning on outlining the connected music therapy tele-intervention approach, and I'll also highlight the Australian Journal of Music Therapy Special Edition, published 2021, titled, This is Australia, Online Music Therapy Down Under. Then I'm going to tell you a little about two research projects taking place in Australia, investigating ultra-low latency technologies for utilisation within music therapy telepractice and how we're teaching on telepractice within the Master of Creative Music Therapy program. To start though, I'd like to share a little with you about my workplace, Western Sydney University. Situated in one of the most diverse communities in the world, our eight campuses are located on the lands of the Darug, Darawal, Eora and Wiradjuri nations. The teaching and learning currently delivered across our campuses is a continuance of the teaching and learning that has occurred on those lands for tens of thousands of years. Our students sit at the heart of everything we do. We are unashamedly student focused. Additionally, our research has global impact. Western is one of the younger, less established universities in Australia, coming up to 35 years old next year which is why I want to take a moment to tell you about our recent award. For two years in a row, Western Sydney University has been named number one in the world in the Times Higher Education University Impact Rankings from 1,700 universities who entered the rankings process. Universities are assessed on their commitment to the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals based on teaching, research, outreach and stewardship. To say these United Nations goals are important is an understatement. Focused around areas such as gender equity, partnerships, reduced inequities, responsible consumption and production. I'm proud to be employed at Western within the Master of Creative Music Therapy. And we will be celebrating 25 years of music therapy training at Western next year some photos to share. This is graduation from April this year, our very happy graduates. And in the photo below, we have my colleagues on that day, the esteemed Dr. Alison Short, and then myself, and our very wonderful placement coordinator, Lauren Bortolazzo. And then another recent photo. This is some of our music therapy key teaching team having lunch on campus just a few weeks ago in winter. We have such harsh winters in Sydney.
a team of us presented on this at the AMT conference in 2021, where we described how Compta was adapted for use with children in palliative care within a clinic and outreach program with adults and in aged care. And of course, Western Sydney was not the only area in lockdown. We had strict border closures and extended stay at home orders across the country with Melbourne in late 2021 holding the unenviable record for world's longest lockdown. After the shock of it all, Australian music therapists jumped to action, creatively working out ways to facilitate music therapy sessions online. So let's keep going now with the Australian Journal of Music Therapy Special Edition. Published in December 2021, this special edition highlighted the responsive and creative ways Australian registered music therapists pivoted to developing online telehealth approaches. Titled This is Australia Online Music Therapy Down Under, the title of this edition is inspired by songs from 1980s Australian rock bands Ganga Jang. This is Australia. This is Australia and men at work. I come from a land down under. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. The title was chosen specifically to encourage an Australian focus for the edition while embracing the multicultural, neurodiverse, interwoven fabric of our communities at this time. I was honored to be the invited guest editor for this edition. The edition starts off with research conducted by Baker and Tamplin in which RMTs and participants were surveyed. The barriers, challenges and advantages of telehealth music therapy are discussed. From this research, we move into articles based directly on practice, whereby programs, approaches and case materials within the telehealth context are described. McLeod and Starr share three case examples from a paediatric palliative care setting. Berry and colleagues detail how a national Sing and Grow program adapted and innovated. Thompson and Khalil Sabib wrote about providing group music therapy programs to adults accessing the Australian National Disability Scheme. Following, we have two articles situated within medical settings, employing both in-person and telehealth delivery models during the pandemic. Forrest and colleagues describe the impact of the pandemic in providing music therapy within two cancer hospitals. Then O'Brien and colleagues share how the music therapy team at one of Australia's key COVID hospitals evolved and expanded. Additionally, the team focused on supporting the well-being of the healthcare workers within the hospital and developed the Scrub Choir. This leads fittingly into the article by Ib Winfield and Grokey, which focuses on a virtual group music therapy and imagery program for the healthcare staff of a private hospital. Finally, a conceptual article by McClellan introduces the accessible music model with an emphasis on increasing technological competency for online music therapy. I'm really proud of this edition and that we managed to publish late 2021. Along with all the amazing music therapy research, writing and publications that came from around the world at that time and over the last few years. Music therapists are such a creative bunch, no surprise there, and were so quick to write up and publish. So from here, I'd like to bring the timeline forward to some projects happening now in Australia. Projects investigating ultra low latency technologies for utilisation within music therapy telepractice and how we're teaching on telepractice within the Master of Creative Music Therapy program at Western. Fortunately, new technologies are emerging, including platform only options, such as the recent Zoom updates. You might have seen the live performance audio beta preference setting on Zoom, which Zoom claims reduces audio lag during live performances. There are also emerging technologies combining hardware and software. And this brings us to the projects taking place currently in Australia. Our colleagues at University of Melbourne, a team led by Jeanette Tamplin, are exploring online singing, utilising a platform called Jack Trip and hardware components, including an audio interface and a separate Raspberry Pi, as you can see depicted here in this diagram. 
they're noting some really positive results with regards to low latency. More to come on that project from Jeanette and her team in the future. At Western Sydney University, we are using Elk Live Bridge, exploring its use across a range of online music therapy experiences, such as singing, playing tuned and untuned percussion instruments, moving, body percussion, and instrumental improvisation. The Elk Live Bridge is a combined platform and hardware option, as you can see here. The yellow box or bridge is connected to your modem and your computer. Plug in a microphone or two, headphones and other instruments if you wish, and off you go. We are also noticing some encouraging results. Further to come on this in an upcoming publication. This brings us to teaching on telepractice at Western. So prior to the pandemic, we had just published on Compta, so we set up our students in small groups within the ensemble rooms on campus to try online music therapy using Zoom in 2019. You can imagine how that went, but some good learnings and that particular cohort headed out into the world in January 2020 for their first year as registered music therapists. Within a couple of months, we were all in lockdown and they were drawing on their limited experiences, but experiences nonetheless, to engage with their music therapy participants online. During the lockdowns, we ramped up our teaching on telepractice, teaching online about online music making. Within Australia, it seems like telepractice is here to stay, with many facilities and centres offering in-person and online services. So we continue to teach on telepractice within the Music Therapy at Western program, now using the Elk Live Bridge and other emerging and updated technologies, such as Zoom's new features. Photos are probably the best way to paint the picture. In this photo, we have three of our second year students in a room on campus at Western. On their screen, which is difficult to see, there's a group of first year students also on campus but in another room down the other end of the building. So this was a two-way session. At this time, they were doing a clapping test or experience where one of the second year students clapped a rhythm and the group of first year students were imitating that rhythm. This photo is of our first year students in a room on campus involved in a three-way session with some second year students who are facilitating and also an additional group of first year students. They are participating in a song requiring singing and untuned percussion. This is another session with more of our first year students in a two-way session with second year students on the screen facilitating a movement activity. And in this last photo, we have two of our first year students in a two-way session with the second year students on screen doing some vocal improvisation. So there you have it, information on Compta and the special edition of the Australian Journal of Music Therapy. Some highlights on latency projects taking place in Australia and some photos on our teaching at Western. Thank you so much to all of these wonderful people and thank you for watching this presentation. Feel free to email me for a reference list or further information at this address on screen.